Welcome to Unlimited Ideas, your go-to destination for all things 3D printing and laser engraving. I'm Sam and today I want to talk about uh, little screw nuts. As you know, in uh, Elgun 2 s we have a, a lead rod, um, a lead screw which is moving the Z-axis up and down with the help of uh, screw nuts. Uh, and this part is connected to the gantry and the little screw when it's turning it's uh, bringing up and down the uh, uh, gantry the problem with the, the one is coming from the factory we have uh, for example if you see here uh, we have some lacking here and uh, it's moving really here and uh, it's causing some um, effect on our print uh, or we don't have that much uh, precision so um, and for uh, solving this issue we can use the anti-backlash uh, nut screws uh, it comes with three, uh, three parts uh, two parts are screws and uh, a spring at the middle a spring at the middle to the little screw and uh, uh, it's not letting the uh, screw nut uh, be very uh, loose here and uh, really move uh, I have a suggestion before using the uh, um, using and connecting these two to your printer I suggest to uh, screw them a little in beforehand and make sure you have you have find the right position of these two parts uh, you can screw uh, this lid to the knot and put the second one here and turn it uh, in uh, turn the lid screw uh, if it passed very freely and it's moving freely you can put the a sign here for example here I, I with the sharpie i put the sign here and that uh, when we are putting it together it, together uh, in our machine we can uh, put it at the right direction if i open it from here and reverse uh, uh, this one uh, i can uh, screw it uh, uh, in at some points to here uh, but I can uh, turn it and it is uh, stuck here uh, when I'm forcing it's uh, turning but not as, uh, as much as uh, we would like to have it so I suggest to uh, find the right direction beforehand um, for putting the printer, we can install this one, and then uh, this spring is going at the middle, and then we are pushing these two together and turning the lid here, and we, uh, we are passing through the um, and the rod uh, through the uh, anti backlash uh, nuts. Uh, the concept is very easy and uh, it uh, can help us to uh, reduce the slacking and uh, imperfections. Um, another thing I need to uh, mention here, uh, there are uh, some uh, different type of um, design for uh, these knots. Uh, some of them they are circular and some of them they are uh, more or less rectangular. Um, with this type you can use it in Elgun Epson 2S and you don't have any problem uh, but with this type uh, maybe you need to cut a piece of that that you can install it uh, next to the extruder stepper motor another things um, you can find and they are coming with in different material um, you can find as a brass 
uh, or uh, this kind of um, uh, material they are called uh, POM, P-O-M, and they are uh, based on the naming, I am thinking uh, these are plastic and and uh, they are similar to the uh, wheels we are using in the 3D printer. Uh, let me to bring the printer and install the uh, backlash, then we can see how much improvement we have. Uh, for replacing the nuts, first uh, we need to uh, open uh, this screw here, uh, the top one that is keeping the um, lid screw here. And then we can take out the uh, little screw from the nuts. Then we can open the uh, nuts here. And now this nut uh, is open, uh, we can replace it with the, uh, the new one uh, that we got. After uh, uh, tightening the screws, uh, we can uh, put the uh, little screw inside the uh, inside the uh, nuts and uh, turn it a little bit until it's uh, trying to uh, come out. Uh, now, after uh, uh, tightening the screws, here uh, we need to put uh, put the second part of the nuts here. Uh, it says uh, a spring at the middle and the nuts. We need to put the uh, a spring here and push it all the way to the nut. Uh, we need to put this notch in the uh, that crack we have there. And then we need to uh, screw the uh, little screw here into the second part of the nut. Uh, because we have a spring here, uh, uh, screwing down the lid a little bit tricky and uh, maybe it uh, take a little bit time that we can uh, put the right groove and uh, uh, screw the uh, 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 lid screw here. Uh, now uh, we can put the little screw inside the coupler here 
um, and uh, I'm keeping up the nozzle maybe one or two millimeter uh, from the uh, plate and then I'm going to uh, screw the uh, this is screw here and uh, tighten this one to keep the uh, screw lid here and when we are turning the screw it's going up and down Uh, in this way, uh, still uh, you can uh, pull up uh, or pull down the gantry, but it's, it, it's a little bit harder to uh, pull it up or uh, pull it down. And uh, when I'm uh, pulling up and leave it, it's not uh, coming down anymore. Or uh, turn the little screw, it's coming down. Uh, as you can see in the uh, uh, moving menu, we can go up or uh, come down. Uh, but uh, before any other printing, because we change the leader screw and maybe we cause some uh, disruption in uh, auto leveling. We need to relevel the print, uh, printer, and uh, uh, if if you like, you can do the test print. As we come to the end of this adventure in the world of unlimited ideas. Once again, this video is not a sponsor. If you enjoyed the journey as much as I did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out our latest 3D printing and laser engraving exploration. If you find any nuggets of wisdom or have suggestions, for future projects, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Your support means the world to us, and together we will keep unleashing the unlimited potential of creativity. Until next time, happy making and stay inspired.